Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Grassroots to Greatness with Inter Milan. Just, just look at this. After a fantastic performance against Manchester City, we struggled against 10 men. Frosinone, I always mess that name up. Uh, a 0 0 draw when we should have absolutely smashed them. But then, of course, we go up against Juventus and beat them 2 0. No problem whatsoever. Um, fully deserved. And Juve this season, considering they've won about 500 titles in, the, in a row, have been very, very poor. We then drew 3 all with Napoli, who are were second in the table at the time. And as you can see, they were 2 0 up after 9 minutes. We pulled it back to 2 2, then went 3 2 up, and they equalised on the hour mark. Uh, a, a magnificent game, but we should have really wrapped all, put all the points up after coming from behind. We came up against our former club, Perugia, and beat them by 3 goals to 1. Danilo, who has been an absolute magnificent signing since coming in uh, with two goals there and Vlasic with the third. We beat Pisa, Pisa Pisa by four goals to one. Uh, Ronaldo with a couple of goals there. His first two goals for quite a while. Should have had a hat-trick. Missed a penalty on 21 minutes but uh, converted his second penalty of the game on 55. The second leg at the Etihad, we managed to win by three goals to one, making it 6-2 on aggregate. Van der Laan with a couple of goals, back in Manchester for the first time since he left Man United. Uh, so he'd have been very happy with that, I'm sure. Fiorentina were dispatched by three goals to nil, thanks to Moretti, Danilo and Vergara with his first goal for the club. Fantastic performance, very dominant, fully deserved three points yet again. 4-1 win away at Bologna, uh, Ronaldo, Alves, Mamana and Bethello with the goals. Bologna were just absolutely woeful, there is no other way to describe them but woeful. Talking of woeful opponents, Palermo put in a damn awful shift and lost 6-1. Pagano scored a hat-trick from midfield, uh, Courtois got one, Bethello got one and Kasperzak got one. But that was nothing compared to what is coming up next. Prepare yourself for this. Away from home, we beat Sampdoria 10 fucking nil. Bethello with a hat trick, Vlasic with a deuce, uh, Van der Laan with a deuce, Danilo with one, Kasperzat with one, and Pereira with one. Absolutely amazing performance. And I thought maybe they were a bit unfit, but you can see the condition. They weren't in bad condition, they were just shit. And uh, I don't think their man being sent off on 33 minutes helped them whatsoever. But we were freaking on fire that day and it was the mo one of the most amazing results I've ever seen. It goes hand in hand with my Hinkley United live stream uh, match when I beat Bournemouth 14-0. It, it is very hand in hand with that. We then dispatched of Lazio by two goals to nil, uh, Van der Laan and Danilo with the goals and this actually wrapped us up the uh, Serie A title. So that was it, Champions after beating Lazio by two goals to nil. We then hosted Manchester United in the quarterfinal first leg of the Champions League and we slapped them stupid. 4-0, uh, Vlasic, Pereira, Kasper Zaka Moro, the former Manchester United man who had a very unhappy time there with the final goal. And finally, last time out, we beat AC Milan by four goals to one at the San Siro. Uh, Vlasic Pereira, who's been on a bit of scoring form lately, uh, Kasper Zak and Van der Laan with the goals. And we just, we're just unstoppable at the moment. Touch wood. Well, well, well. 10-0. 10 fucking nil. Do you want to know the best thing? Do you want to, I missed the first half because I needed to go for a shit, to put it bluntly, and I missed the entire first half, and we were 5 nil up at half time. And when I, I, I just told them, keep it going, and they did, and scored another five in the second half, and it was a beautiful time. This fella, Danilo, what, what an absolute bargain at £18.2 million. This guy 
if he doesn't turn out to one of the best players in the world in a couple of years on this game, in this save, I'll be gobsmacked. He is unbelievable. Absolute monster. Really is. Massively, massively impressed with him. Uh, there you go, guys. 21 points clear at the top. Fucking hell. That's all I can say to that. I think that's the most I've ever won a title by. Like, at this point, anyway. Obviously, we've still got, I think, five games left. So, um, but yeah, that is the furthest ahead we've ever I've ever been, I think. I, I, from what I can remember, anyway. Perugia, up to 13th. They got rid of their manager. They sacked off the other chap and brought in Vladimir Weiss. Uh, who was the other chap? I can't even remember his name now. Uh, oh, yeah. Urs Fischer was given the boot and then uh, Diamante came in as caretaker and Vice has taken over and he's had a really really decent uh, decent little run in charge he's not done badly at all let's see if we can uh, Chris that, no not that one I always do it every fucking time uh, achievements no it's not what am I looking for overview there we are he's only lost one uh, since he's taken over. So he's not doing about five games, won three, drew one, lost one. So he's had a pretty decent run uh, since coming in as gaffer. Today, we are doing the live card against Manchester United, just for shits and giggles. And then obviously we're going to head on to the end of the season. And, uh, you know, if we make the Champions League final, we'll be doing that as a live com. If not, it'll be Udinese at home, one of the two, which will be our final game in charge of Inter. The, the board are being dickheads, absolute dickheads. Um, it's like every time a manager gets sacked, if I'm remotely even like hinted at being a possibility to be the manager, they are cracking on at me saying, why are you trying to leave? I'm like, I'm fucking not. I'm just sitting here minding my own shit, my friends, and you are the arseholes flinging turd in my face. You know, it's ridiculous. It really is. But shit happens. So I've decided, I, I was toying with the idea of sticking around, but I'm just getting pissed off with the ball being arseholes. But they're, they're really complimentary about me one minute and then hate me the next. It's very bizarre. Very bizarre. But anyway, whatever. We'll uh, we'll sort that out going forwards at some point. But we're going to go with this team. Van der Laan, his first trip back to Old Trafford since leaving. He didn't score in the... Uh, in the, the last game, so this is opportunity to get a goal against United, uh, show them what they've lost, basically, and hopefully he'll do such a thing. Why have you not put Apra Apra back in? You yanking my dick or what? Get him back in there. Right, so we're going to go with this. Danilo. Ronaldo, I think his age has finally caught up with him in this league. Um, I'm thinking of doing a cheeky thing at the end of the season and releasing him. And then if we go to somewhere, and um, we might be able to talk him into joining us because he's he's very keen on me. He's very pally pally with me, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's not a bad friend to have, that's for sure. So I'm, so I'm going to look for the United team. My dog's snoring his ass off in the background, by the way. Uh, Keita, former player of ours. Um, Feliciani was the young goalkeeper we had at Perugia. I think that's it for former players. And obviously we've got Van der Laan uh, from United and uh, Morrow, who's on the bench, from the old United. So, we're 4-0 up from the first leg. So, really, you would ideally think we stand a good chance of getting through, but this is football manager, guys. We've all seen it before. We've been in this situation before on saves, I'm sure we have in the in the past. Where we've been falling up from the first leg and got absolutely smashed stupid. I'm sure it's happened at some point over my YouTube career. I'm sure it'll happen again at some point. Will it be today? We'll find out. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a save from Moret. He has been great at times this season. Absolutely superb. He's really uh, improved since when we first brought him in, that's for sure. Come on, get it out. Well done. Send him. Go on, Botello. Oh, Van der Laan's in. Van der Laan. It's gone for a corner. Vlasic swings it in. Comes back out, though. Even so far, they've had the majority of the possession, but 
uh, shots wise and attempts wise it's very even game so far oh Vlasic he's got a boob he's got a dead leg what's his condition 76 go on Vlasic go on Vlasic oh no, I think I'm going to bring him off he seemed to struggle a bit there he seemed to stop didn't he in his tracks Pagano can come on and we'll just calmly tell him to go out there and make a difference here's Mamana come on oh Danilo's away what a ball what a goal Batello what a goal Danilo is an absolute monster and Batello on the other wing is also unbelievable I brought Batello in thinking he was going to be back up and he has just wiped out the competition. He's seen off players. We've sold players because of the form that he has been in. He's been that great. We've just I've just thought, fuck it, we'll let these guys go. We don't need them here because he is taking everything in his stride. We've got a backup. You know, we have the backup for every position, but we don't need a world class backup, you know, that's gonna be bitching because he's not in the team because Batello's got it. What a ball from Danilo and what a header from Batello those two guys i mean we have built we have let's let's not beat around the bush we have built a fucking machine with this inter milan team we are a machine we are just an amazing unit you know the players have been fantastic this season and last season when we you know came in go on oh it's offside you know when we came in last season they were fantastic the players that we had then some of them are still here some of them moved on but uh, we've had a great oh it's in juan mata We've, we've got some great players here and, uh, you know, whoever takes over next is going to have one hell of a team. And without being big headed, they're going to have one hell of a, uh, one hell of a gap to fill. Because <laughs> we've, if we can remain unbeaten in the lead this season, that'll be a, a whopping achievement. Look at Tottenham whopping Schalke 3-0. Absolutely spanking the shit out of them. Uh, I'm just going to go calm. I'm just say I'm very happy keep it up. I don't want to say that, you know, oh, you're only 1-1. We are away from home against a team that's not in our division. It's easy for us to wipe teams away that are in our league because we know them. You know, we, we see them week in, week out. We play them a couple of times every year, but it's a bit different when you come up away in Champions League against teams like Manchester United and stuff. It's very different kettle of fish. Right, let's bring on... Let's get you on and let's give Ronnie a run. Cristiano Ronaldo back in Old Trafford at the age of 36. <laughs> let's see. It'd be nice if he could get a goal. I can't see it though. He's, he is starting. I mean, he's 36 now. He's starting to um, decline. I, was, I mean, he started the season like a house on fire. Oh, Matt has got a second. We're going to lose. We are going to lose at Old Trafford, which is, I mean, I want to win. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to lose, but as long as they don't get another, like, four goals or something, I'm I'm not massively concerned. Oh, what are you doing? Panic mode. Big <sighs> wave with a uh, very wayward shot there. Let's drop it to control just to sort of stop us leaving those gaps going forwards oh, come on come on that's it just keep the ball at least thought he was going to find a way oh Ronaldo Pagano oh Ronaldo beat to the ball there get in may have lost on the night but we are through on aggregate and that is very very wunderbar uh, calmly i'm just gonna say well done well done we got th sorry <laughs> sorry sorry there mr uh, microphone stand i just headbutted you yet again um you know we we lost on the night but overall i'm very pleased that we've got through and uh it's onwards and upwards, I guess. See, we get in the semis, and then can we get to the final? But you, my little darlings, are going to have to wait until the next episode to find out. 
so guys for now please drop a like on the video if you're still enjoying the series uh likes really do you know get get us all youtubers buzzing on and wanting to make more content and more videos um and as always guys it's been an absolute pleasure being in your face bye bye